Hey guys, here for another video. Today we're looking at Live Fit Cheeks Fit, Donk Fit, whatever, Live Fit, Live Fit. I don't even know her fucking real name. I was trying to find out a little bit of background about her, but like always, she is a request. And I think this is a very, very good OnlyFans to review. Not because it's good, because it is, in my opinion. Uh, I, I say that just to cover my ass. A little bit deceptive uh, in terms of how she promotes herself and what she actually uh, provides in her OnlyFans. And she is the perfect example of someone. Uh, again, like I said, it seems a little deceptive. And I'll explain my reasoning later. It is pretty logical in case uh, she comes at me and says like, Oh, you're def it's defamatory and all this other bullshit. You're making me lose money. Listen, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm stating the facts, so I'll tell you guys what I mean by that a little bit later. But let's look at our social media a little bit before I get into our OnlyFans. So, like always, I do like doing a little bit of research just to see how they promote themselves. And obviously, like every single Instagram thought and OnlyFans girl, their brand is them their body, right? They're trying to be the sex symbol. People really watch them only for their body, and they don't have much of a personality. But she did have a YouTube channel, and I did watch like two videos. I'm like, oh, wow, she actually seems kind of cool. I was really surprised. Price, she just didn't stick with the YouTube stuff because she seemed more of like a YouTuber than an Instagram thought and an OnlyFans girl. Again, that's just my opinion, but with YouTube and social media and your life stuff, obviously people try to go for the bag. And I always say with OnlyFans, for me, it's like a low hanging fruit, right? You're just selling yourself. And if that's what you want to be known for for the rest of your life is just a cum bucket, cum rag, then awesome. I always say, and I've said this many times, and I'm going to keep saying it just for emphasis in case any OnlyFans girls are watching or maybe any guys that do OnlyFans too. OnlyFans should be kind of like a short term thing where you build up your capital and then you invest in other things that you actually have a passion for, right? I don't think a lot of girls have a passion to be seen as a sex symbol. I think most girls that do this for the long term probably just are saying like, oh, wow, this is easy money. I really don't have to work. But uh, again, if you think about it, right, once you have kids or your family, you want your kids, your family, and friends to be like, oh, wow, my ex or girl or boy, donkeys, whatever, by that person does X thing and that actually leaves an impact for the world, aka humanity. Uh, again, that's just my opinion opinion but uh yeah and she also does have a twitter again worth looking at those uh pieces of content and social media and she also like i said does have a youtube doesn't really post too much now one important piece of social media that i tell you guys please look at it is her tiktok her tiktok is very reminiscent to what she offers on her only fans and the base sub i will say this again look at the tiktok to have a pretty good idea of what you're getting yourself into so let's just get right into the only fans because uh there just wasn't much really like uh research that i have tried doing on her try to find a real name who she was before this how she got the get uh good blah blah era 404 gateway garnered all this fame but again that's just something we're just gonna have to accept for now so let's just get right into only fans like i said so right when you get it, it's a top zero one percent every month if I get crazier, like and comment for extra surprise and all my attention. And now these next pieces of information are very vital to what I consider a deceptive only fan. So new content plus chat with me daily, solo, anal, boy and girl, lesbian, threesomes, foursomes, fuck machine, casting, couch. I do it all. Each one of you are special to me and I appreciate your support. Check out the tip menu for fun. And then she has her social media. So I always say with a description and a bio something, right? Whatever you say in your bio, I expect to see that in your base sub, right? It's like Netflix. They'll say, hey guys, we're offering fucking Shrek 5. Uh, Star Wars 9 and Harry Potter's, uh, you know, the coming of Jesus Christ or some shit like that, you know, and you expect to see that Netflix and Netflix does give you that with the subscription, right? Netflix doesn't say, hey, yeah, we did mention we have these movies, but once you get our subscription, you do have to pay to get those movies. That's just not how it works because there is a level of expectation of a description, right? A description describes what you have in that subscription once I get it. And she does not offer any of those in the base sub. And that is what I find a little deceptive. Again, she does offer that, but just not in the base up. And I feel like she should say that in her bio saying like, hey guys, once you get my subscription, you have access to this if you guys are willing to buy it instead of trying to get the base up and be like, oh wow, I don't really see this. I have to buy everything. So again, that's just something I, you know, it bothered me a lot. And, and it's just not just her. There's a lot of other girls that just don't have a good description. I always say have a good description. You don't have to be corny. You don't have to be like wet pussy, fucking lick my furry pussy cat you want this daddy you don't have to be that corny just be descriptive because most people want to know what you have in your only fans they'll see it let's say like refer she's a petite 
petite girl, right? She could be like taking 20 black dildos up my ass, inside my ears, outside my eyes, up my fucking nose. And that's like, oh, wow, that's descriptive. I know what I'm getting if I get the base up. But again, that's just not what she does, unfortunately. So that is my little PSA. But let's talk about what content she has in the base sub and dive a little bit into that. So her base sub, I will say she does have very high numbers of photos. She has 601 photos and videos. She has 376 videos. Now, I will say if you're expecting to see nudity, if you're expecting to see rated R triple X content in the base sub, you're not getting any of that. You don't even get to see her nipple. The most rated R thing you'll see in the pictures is her covering her nipples with like a, she has like these stickers. Again, you don't really get to see her nipples. You don't get to see her pussy. You don't get to see any rated R triple X content in the photos. And for me, a lot of the photos could have been posted on Instagram, to be honest. Like they aren't anything crazy. They aren't anything wild. And I feel like if you're promoting yourself to be the sex symbol, this sex object then you should probably post uh you know nudes <laughs> you know as dumb as that sounds and just the photos just aren't anything special especially since she has so many photos right i always say this nudes or whatever photos start losing an impact and i think people are you know they're paying for more content right because the only fans game it's like the youtube game right it's like the bar and the expectation is going to another level you can't just do the bare minimum and then people will be satisfied with it and i'm pretty sure she's making a lot of money she did say she's the top 0.1% of OnlyFans, but as the average person who just isn't a simp, who just won't blow off her ego, I'm just saying the photos just aren't that good. And to be honest, you should have a little bit of nudity in your OnlyFans for the average guy. Again, this is my opinion. So let's talk about the videos. So for the videos, she does have 376 videos. And I will say I watched 300 of the videos because after like the 300 video, I'm like, okay, all these videos are the same. I'm pretty sure the last 76 are also pretty similar. And I think it's a pretty good sample size to see the recent 300 videos uh and that's a pretty good judgment for only fans because i just started seeing everything i'm like oh wow there really is no difference there really is no variety why am i wasting my time doing this and i usually don't feel like this about only fans girl i'll be like oh wow they have variety it's worth looking at all their content but when they have a lot of content that's very similar that just isn't that good i start losing a a little bit of my patience and i'll probably look at 80 percent of their content and use that as a pretty good sample size to describe what they have in their only fans so the longest video she has is one minute, 35 seconds, a minute and 10 seconds, a minute, a minute, a minute, a minute. And the majority of her videos do fall between the three to 12 second mark. And I will say one thing that bothers me is that she describes, like I mentioned earlier, all these things, solo, anal, boy and girl, lesbian, threesomes, foursomes, fuck machine and casting couch. But you don't get to see any of that in the base sub. The craziest thing that I saw in the base sub was her uh, eating out another girl's pussy uh, for about like two seconds. And that's it. There was everything else was pretty much censored or remember when I mentioned earlier like look at the TikTok that's a pretty good indicator of what she has on her OnlyFans the majority of her OnlyFans feels very TikTok like AK she's dancing she's showing off her body she shows off her abs she shows off her ass uh again she's all closed if she shows off her ass she has a thong on uh it's just not really that good and it felt like I was just watching a TikTok and I just didn't really know what I was paying for and I, like I said earlier when I see the, the description and I expect to see what I read in the description the base sub and I don't really see that to me that's a little bit deceptive I feel like you should be a little bit more descriptive and saying like hey you guys have access to all these videos if you're willing to buy it my base sub only has these TikTok like videos or something I don't know make it nice but make it truthful right make it honest so if you want to see any of those crazy videos you do have to go through the DMs uh, I will read what she offers in her DM menu and then go over the prices of what she has in her other videos so she has two nude photos three dollars naked twerking four dollars naked workout and shuffling you could see her shuffle Oh my goodness, I wonder if it's a dancing shuffle or the poker shuffle. I'd love to see her shuffle some cards. Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, shower twerk and fingering $6. Public dildo fuck in my car $7. And the, ex the menu is pretty extensive, but if you do want to see all the good stuff, like lesbian strap on fuck, which I don't think is good, $21. Most popular lesbian threesome hot tub, $23. And the prices just keep going up. And if you want to see a boy girl video, it does, and suck and fuck with my biggest fan, that's $29 and the videos just keep going up and up and up and I get it you want to make your money I get it people are buying it 
but you have to realize that you just can't sell everything and be like an EA Sports, be like an EA company, that if you want to see anything good stuff, it's DLC, 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 and like I said, I'm pretty sure your model's working, but for the average guy, I just don't see why I would invest in you if your base sub is trash and there are other girls that look like you that offer way better content for a little bit higher price, but again, it's all in the base sub and I don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to possibly see you get fucked. Also, you being as famous as they are, I, I didn't do this, but there are many leaks online. If you guys want to have an idea of what she's offering, do look at that. And if you do want to spend more money on that, go ahead. You have an option. I just don't think it's worth it. As for the other videos she does offer in DMs, very expensive. Like one video, six minutes for $24. Another video is five minutes for $17. Another video for $10, which again, they start adding up. Sure, you could be like, well, it's just one video for $10. When you have a subscription for a long-term service, right? Because obviously with OnlyFans, it's a long-term game. You don't want to do that quick drop shipping thing. You want to make the most amount of money in the most amount of time. And that's how subscription services work, right? They play for the long run. I just don't see why anyone would spend a lot more money unless you're obsessed with her. And I always say this, OnlyFans banks on Sims. If you're obsessed with the person and you will do whatever, you will drag your balls across Iraq, the Mexican border, broken glass, dried up sand, dried hot, like, I don't know, fucking 99 degree Fahrenheit milk and you to just a sick a sick sucker toe then you're probably gonna like it but again for the average person it just doesn't really seem uh worth it to be honest so if i think her only fans good or not i don't think it's good i feel like her description should be a little bit more specific because when you see all that description you're like wow five dollars for all this crazy stuff cool you get the base up and you don't get to see any of that crazy stuff again for me that's a little bit deceptive and there's just way uh you know there's just other girls that do the same thing that look very similar to her that just do more in the base sub even though it might be a little bit more expensive like two or three dollars i think it's worth it in the long run but with hers i just don't really see the reason to get it but i'm pretty sure she's a nice girl i saw her youtube videos and she seemed like a pretty uh, you know, cool girl. If anything, she should probably stick to YouTube because her OnlyFans sucks, to be honest. Again, this is my opinion. You guys can always check it out. So, like always, guys, please leave a comment below if you guys have any suggestions. Uh, Google Forms still down. I'm just going to upload a new one. I'm just saying, like, screw it. It's just uh, not worth getting it back. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is going to be a little bit different, just more security. So, the people uh, that do enter it, I do have a little bit more identity and seeing what you post before you actually post it, just so I can be aware if anyone tries to post, like, Kitty Born or something like that, because I'm pretty sure that's what broke TOS someone just decided to do that with the last one unfortunately so I do appreciate you guys watching this video I do look at every single comment I do take in every request on my own spreadsheet that every, every time I look at a comment I'm like okay do research on this person keep it on my own spreadsheet so I can get to them eventually so I appreciate you guys watching this video please give it a like please give it a subscribe or I will kill myself later